Wow, well, talk about your post-apocalyptic landscapes. I got one for you today. Greetings and salutations, by the way. I'm not in Death Valley today. I'm in Logandale, Nevada. Logandale's down there. But this is a, an old derelict cement plant. I, uh, I follow a, a fellow adventurer in a desert aficionado by the name of uh, Wonder Hussy and she came out here about I don't know four years ago and it, would look, it looked pretty it looked pretty derelict back then but man it's gotten worse the scrappers have been out here and the taggers have been out here Somebody's out there shooting. Oh, check that out. Dreamcatcher. Interesting. But I am a big fan of uh, industrial type in uh, stuff. In industrial engineering. Look at this gear. Can you imagine the machine? That was required to machine this gear. Look at this thing. And it, it's not a straight cut gear either. It's, it's a little bit of an angle. Sorry for the wind noise. Let's see if we can take a peek in there. Look at them bangs. Like about an inch and a half needle bearings. Looks like uh, this place has been used as a uh, post-apocalyptic setting for a um, uh, a paintball game. There's paintballs all over here. Why did I think I wouldn't find brass here? I would, why wouldn't I? But, uh, I don't know. This, this might not be of any interest to you. I don't know if it is to me, but I thought I'd come check it out anyway. That right there is a kiln, and it's about oh shit, how it's a couple hundred feet long, and somebody had cut it in half. Well, you're going to give yourself a hematoma. Every one of these concrete pillars had rollers on them. These things got to be four feet in diameter. 
solid metal. Holy shit. Balls out of the ball mill. Crow's nest up there. See it? 
You see it? All them sticks and stuff up there? Those things? The green and the yellow? No, those are paintball marks. Oh, so up there. Up there. That's either an owl's nest or a crow's nest. I guess I don't see it. You don't see it up there? All those sticks up there? Oh, yeah. Ouch. Built in the 1950s, this plant was bought in 1985 for half a million dollars, disassembled, moved here for another half a million, and took about 10 years to bring it online. Fraught with environmental and permitting issues, and finally the death of the plant electrician who was electrocuted when he came into contact with that 4160 volt electrical transformer was the death knell for this site operation ceased in 2003. The owner was trying to get this plant back online in 2004, but as you can see, it never happened. Danger. Live bus. Hmm. Oh, this seen better days. Another electrical room. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I know what that picture is. <laughs> Apparently my daughter knows too. And she's eight. Something wrong with that. Uh, a cheese grater for a door here. Come on, sis. I still got this. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I can I can say that I um, checked it out for myself. It's only been or five years since I wanted to come out here, so. And we were driving by anyway, so we just, I just decided to come in here and check it out. Is it me? Or does that thing look like it might be listing a little to the left? What? Comment in the comment section. So if you found this video to be interesting and mildly entertaining, smash that like button and then share this with your vast social media network. I would appreciate that. Thank you in advance. If you'd like to support the channel, maybe you know donate a couple bucks for gas money. Uh, check the links in the description, either through Amazon affiliate links, a link to PayPal where you can donate on a one-time basis, or you can support this channel on a monthly basis through Patreon. Check those links out, see if there's anything you might be interested in doing. If you can afford to do that, I appreciate it immensely. Thank you in advance. And if you can't, that's okay. Enjoy the content anyway. Just means we're probably related. I would like to invite you at this time to click the subscribe button. And if you do that, please click the little bell icon right next to it. That way YouTube will let you know the next time I upload a video. Until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep your powder dry, and have a splendid day. Have a splendid day. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.